We're all relatively well informed here, right? All right, maybe that's a little bit gregarious, but we know that the solar system is comprised of planets and those planets revolve around the sun. Right? We know that those majestic celestial orbs, eight planets and a single Pluto spin in a very beautiful cosmic ballet in an equally specific order. But what if on some massive galactic whim over a bet or something like that, the powers that be decided to see what would happen if we reverse the order of the solar system? Uh, wait. What? Uh, yeah, this one's about to get a little bit messy. Hello internet, what's going on? And once again, welcome back to the most inquisitive channel on YouTube, life's biggest questions. As per usual, I'll be your disembodied floating voice, Jack Finch, as today we curiously ask the question, what if we reversed the solar system? Roll the clip. For the curious amongst you, that clip was from 2014's Interstellar, directed by the awesome Christopher Nolan, because of course it is, this is a life's biggest question about space, and what better way to visually set the scene than with that resounding success of science fiction. Nevertheless, that visual orbit of Saturn is a little bit tamer than what would happen in the event of this hypothetical notion, because yeah, things are going to get a little bit different over the next eight or so minutes. Now, first we have to outline the grammatical specifications of this particular life's biggest question. From the off, the question itself, what if we reverse the solar system, sounds like we could cosmically hit the rewind button and suddenly the planets start revolving the complete other way like some out of whack washing machine or some impossible plug hole. And whilst this may sound like it's a catastrophic chain of events, in all actuality, it's really, really not. In fact, kind of nothing at all would happen. The thing is, if you somehow had a cosmic relocator device and transported yourself to a random position in our solar system and looked at the planets from a different perspective, the whole thing would be reversed. You see, there's no up direction in space or up, down, left, right, up, down, left, right, R1, R2, L1, L2. Because cheat codes aside, our solar system isn't aligned with the plane of our galaxy in any way. In fact, the direction in which the planets orbit our sun was dictated by the small difference in angular momentum of the collapsing material that emerged in the halcyon days of our solar system. A small change in that, hypothetically, may have led to the planets orbiting in a different way, but we'd never really be able to tell for the most part, and the effects it would have on our planet would be minimal at best. However, that's not to say that reversing the revolution of our Earth wouldn't have some catastrophic effects, because of course, unlike the other planets in our solar system, there's loads of stuff that's alive on our planet. Although we'll only briefly touch on this point, the effects of reversing Earth's rotational direction around the Sun would actually be initially cataclysmic. Currently our Earth spins in a very specific direction relative to the Sun, which is a model known as prograde. Theoretically, the other direction known as retrograde would completely reshape the face of our planet. Vast barren deserts would cover the southern parts of North America, and arid sand dunes would replace the massive swathes of the Amazon rainforest in South America. On the other hand though, lush green landscapes would flourish everywhere else from Central Africa to the Middle East and the whole model of our planet would be flipped on its head entirely. Obviously this would take thousands of years and civilization wouldn't be around to witness the new landscape down to the fact that everyone would most probably be dead but hey it's a fun thought either way isn't it? But no we can go one further we can take this whole orbital reverse shtick and throw it out of the window and instead we can take this question very literally. We can reverse the order of our solar system and instead Instead, we can take a look at the hypothetical implications of rearranging the model of our solar system like a toddler with a few wooden blocks. Put it this way, our solar system is in a very specific order that was forged over eons of cataclysmic celestial events. Gas giants are on the outer side of the solar system for a reason, down to the fact that the incredible temperatures near the sun didn't allow their small compadres the chance to accumulate enough gas as it was blasted away by the massive heat. Hence the fact that in the immortal words of Hugo Weaving in Cloud Atlas, there is a natural order to this world and those that try to upend it do not fare well. And the unstoppable resilience of the human spirit aside, he was right because our solar system couldn't have formed in any other way. But thankfully for us, we've just got our hands on some hypothetical teleportation devices and we've just reversed the order of our solar system. Oh no, what have we done? So instead of going Mercury, Venus, Earth, Mars, Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, Neptune and hell, whatever, let's throw Pluto in there too. It now goes Pluto, Neptune, Uranus, Saturn, Jupiter, Mars, Earth, Venus, Mercury. 
with the former being closer to the Sun and the latter being at the extremities of the solar system. And oh boy is this simulation about to get catastrophic. So please hold on to your solar system hats. First up Pluto's reintroduction to the solar system would be incredibly short lived. I'm sorry buddy but unfortunately you just got gobbled up by the Sun down to its humongous amount of gravity and Pluto's not so humongous amount of gravity. In an instant it would no longer exist. <sighs> eight planets remain. The thing is though for the next few planets on the line, Neptune, Uranus and Saturn, things kind of look pretty much the same for them. Although the difference would be their demise wouldn't be instant. Pluto would have just been a blip in their periphery, warning them as to what the new order of things has in store for them. You see, although it might take a few months, perhaps longer than a year, the orbital velocities of these planets would ultimately be pulled into the sun and gobbled up just like Pluto. There is however a small chance that Saturn could cling on to survival if it somehow managed to increase its velocity before it got vaporized by the Sun and then suddenly Saturn would be in the top spot for survivor planets of this new solar system. Because then we have to look at Jupiter, the middle pack of the planets and the only one that wouldn't really change its position in the solar order. Now because Jupiter remains in its position, all of those earth shattering asteroids that it saves us from would remain within its gravity gravitational influence. So for Jupiter, it's business as usual, still doing its job. Thank you Jupiter, thank you. However for the four planets behind it, Mars, Earth, Venus and Mercury, things are really rough. For the most part the orbital velocity of Earth, Venus and Mercury would quickly catapult them out of the Sun's gravity and their escape velocities would see them hurtling through the vast expanse of the cosmos as new rogue planets. So good luck with that guys. Goodbye Earth, Venus and Mercury. Oh and Earth's temperature would plummet to around minus 200 degrees Celsius and we'd all instantly freeze to death. For Mars though again there is a slim chance that it could piggyback on Jupiter's gravity and remain in its orbit albeit with a completely different perspective on life unsure as to what Jupiter's gravitational anomalies and many moons would then have in store for it which is either super exciting or incredibly incredibly worrying. So yeah there we have it. If we reverse the solar system, every planet would be either vaporized or lost to oblivion, save for maybe Saturn, Jupiter, and then maybe Mars, if they're lucky. So if you ever see some evil alien empire with a teleportation device pointed at these planets, try and make it to Mars, I guess. Well, this was a pretty interesting one, wasn't it? There we have it, guys. Our answer to the mind-bending question, what if we reverse the solar system? What do you guys think? Do you agree? Disagree? Have any more to add? Let us know your thoughts down in the comment section below, as well as any intriguing insights of your own. Before we depart from today's video, if you'd like to continue on with your questioning binge, then please feel free to delve into our neatly compiled playlist for your viewing enjoyment. On that note, unfortunately, that's all we've got time for in today's video. Cheers for sticking around all the way until the end. If you were a fan of this video, or just life's biggest questions in general, then please be a dear and hit that thumbs up button, as well as that subscribe bell. And I'll be seeing you in the next one. As per usual, I've been your disembodied floating voice, Jack Finch. You've been watching life's biggest questions. And until next time, you take it easy.